Really? Do we need, do we, do I need to like get crazy with you here? Get crazy? Oh, look at that. They're putting food together. We got so much stuff going. Ah, there we go. Finally, you make that last uh, field. All right, and then we've got a mechanic working on the mechanics workshop. That's fantastic. So now we've got a mechanics workshop and a crafters workshop not quite ready. Uh, and let's make sure to um, just make it inactive with the S key. Make sure that we're still building it. Ah, oh, excellent. Things are going so well. Okay, the dwarf suspended the construction of a craft dwarf's workshop, probably because there isn't anybody who can do it. Uh, if you if you use the Q key to mouse over, it'll say um, if we suspend it, uh, you could see why. So we, we we need basically someone to do uh, craftsman's work. Let's go back over to the therapist, and let's see if we get. Well, nope, that's not the one. Sorry, there were two open. Let's find this one, uh, and let's just quickly look for the craft dwarves. Ah, it wasn't that. It was just that there's uh, items in the way. So let's go ahead and build a workshop, and let's build a craft dwarves shop uh, in a slightly different location. So let's go ahead and put that just right. How about right here? How's that? And we'll make that a plum with logs. There we go. Now that should be fine. It's just sometimes you can't build it because all the rocks are in the way. It gets a little bit unappreciative of that. And fortunately, we're moving out all the rocks to make the floor. But, you know, it takes time. It takes time to build all these floors. Look at that awesome floor coming together. We're going to have, like, the most dwarfy place in the world. In the meantime, though, let's make sure to actually have some dwarfy type traps. Let's go to the mechanics workshop with Q, add a new task. We're going to make some mechanisms. And uh, traction benches are for people when dwarves get broken bones. It lets them lay up, and you've, uh, you can look it up in, on Wikipedia if you're curious. Let's just make a bunch of mechanisms, shall we? We could also, by the way, we could ask it to, to be repeated if we hit the R key, which means just do it forever. I'm not going to do that, though, because I do want to make sure to not to Like, sometimes that could sort of lock up your dwarves just doing something, and that's cool, but not exactly what I want right now. Um, right. So we'd like to get a mechanic over there to do that work as soon as possible. Uh, well, and we're basically out of plump helmet seeds for now. Hopefully we'll start to get some soon. And uh, looks like we're having someone bring obsidian over to start working on the thing. So Foth is over there working. I really like this stone sense view, by the way, because it makes it really easy to see which dwarves are doing what. Like I can see Call walking down the hor corridor, slowly hauling over something there. Um, we could probably make Call's life a lot easier if we were to make a temporary stockpile. So let's go ahead and say P for stockpile. And let's make a stone stockpile. And let's just ask them to pile up all the stone back here uh, for now. Now, all our idlers are going to go to zero because basically every other... Oh, we're saving. Stand by. Stand by. Every other dwarf is going to go uh, and start working on that. There we go. It's now summer, so we've saved. Uh, let's go ahead and resume. And we've got all sorts of cool stuff coming out of these mechanisms. It means, though, that we can build all sorts of neat, interesting traps. So uh, as soon as we get a few more mechanisms, I'm just going to let that run for a moment, we'll start building traps. But I want to note that we've got... Um, all sorts of important things coming together, but we're missing some important stuff still. Uh, however, it is only just become summer, so we're actually on a really good track. If you follow this uh, pace, um, even with some extra vanity labors, as I call them, like, for example, building this floor is not strictly necessary. But you'll also notice everybody's build, moving rocks right up there to that edge, which I think is pretty good overall, because, you know, we just want to have all those rocks accessible and get them out of all the rooms. It will, not all rocks will fit there. Oh, look, there's that gold ore. That's cool. Um... And we'll go ahead and just keep, let things go for a little bit. So freaking neat how awesome and quick this is progressing. Uh, I think that probably what we're going to do next is work on mining out that gold, building traps at our front door, and also we've got all these turkeys. We should probably start using them as well. They're a great source of food, and they will they can run all year round. So we're going to have some more designations for mining. I think, though, for now, that's probably enough. Um, again, I'm really excited to hear your questions and answer them. Keep going ahead and ask them. It's fine. I've, I've totally accepted that I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see, there's you know subjects that you're really curious about, go ahead and give me an ask or say things like that. So some people have asked about ISO world, which is not stone sense. It's a different thing, um, and we can use that too, although it takes a little bit of work. Um, we can just see how cool our little ISO world base is here. We've got these stockpiles. We've got all sorts of things going on. 
I think this is really neat. Look, I love I love how we can see like the the floor coming together and no more gruddy cave moss and stuff like that. We've also got to get ready to start exploring those caverns. Although it's not as high a priority. This is just a tutorial ultimately, and as such, we're not going to go too deep down into the world. We're just going to kind of get you started and teach you the basics of what you want to do. So as you can see, we've got a couple of mechanisms now. Um, and uh, I think next episode we'll start building that and we'll start refining metal because once we have traps in place so that we're not so worried about thieves and whatnot, well then, we're in a much better position to start being more relaxed and start building items of value. So folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I think that we'll probably uh, cut an episode here and continue next time. All right, folks, well, I think the next thing that we need to work on for our fortress is a little bit of a defense, so that when we start producing things of value, we're going to be safe. We'd also like to make an area where we can go to trade. Um, if we're going to be producing all these valuable items, you can't eat gold, uh, you know, and there's lots of things here that we can't necessarily make, so we want to trade for them, because what's the point of amassing things if you don't also trade? Um, and also, by gathering wealth, we'll gather other interested dwarves who will come. Because as you can see, we just have <laughs> – building this floor is taking a long time. Call is just – Call's doing his, be doing his best, or her best, I'm sorry. But uh, it's a long road. It's a long road, and we could use some more farmers and whatnot. You know, so let's first work on defense. Let's also start producing some interesting stuff. And then we'll maybe work on extracting some of this gold and gems. But I realized there was something I forgot to do. Um, I set up a uh, nice zone out here. If I push I, I can see it. But what I also need to do out here is not just a garbage dump, is I also need to set up a stockpile uh, for just um, corpses and refuse. So we're going to go ahead and hit R. Um, and we'll go ahead, like, refuse is just like little stuff. So we'll go ahead and make a nice area out here for dumping that, that junk. And that should mean that now uh, our dwarves actually want to remove all these little corpses and refuse and things like that. You can see they're putting all of the uh, corpses, refuse, rats, and things like that that we don't want to eat, the vermin, out there. So... Uh, some people have pointed out to me that uh, it's kind of gross how, um, if you look in the bedroom, you can see that there is some some gunk over there. It's no good. Uh, basically, that's another floor, and we'll build a. We'll, you know, we'll we'll fix that up soon. But that's a temporary dormitory, anyways. Um, I think the meeting room. We want to commemorate that because that's where we spent a lot of time. But the temporary dorm dormitory, eh, not so important. Let's go ahead and prepare a few more easy meals while we wait. Let's also start making some more. Um, what should we make? Uh, we could make some more bins and barrels. Oh. Well, we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and remove that by, uh, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and make some barrels and another bin. And then let's go ahead and make, um, well, that should be fine for now. Let's focus on, we've got some mechanisms coming in place. So let's get our miners uh, a little bit of work. So first thing we're going to do is designate to remove, we're going to remove um, ramps. Uh, because we want to clear out these little areas over here. Why is there a dwarf? Oh, our hunter is sleeping outside. He didn't, just didn't quite make it inside. Come on. Come on, Urvod. You can do better than that. Uh, similarly, we're going to remove the desert. We're going to remove uh, stairways and ramps with a Z key on the designation. So we go DZ around here. Because let's face it, it's not very nice. Um, and then we're also going to remove it over, well, let's say, let's say all through here, right? So our miners are going to get to work on that. And they're just going to remove all those ramps, so it's just a sheer cliff. We're also going to make a uh, pretty big area that goes right through here, right? And uh, so that's a big, big area. Uh, this is where a large building is going to go, our trading post, right? So basically, the traders are not going to have access to our main base. Similarly, what we'd like to do is to designate the building of a channel, which is a hole, basically. We're going to build a channel all across here. And so we're going to have a little uh, thing down here. You know, it's basically we're going to dig a little trench. And I'll show you why that's interesting in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, while we're building that trench and our miners get up to doing all the awesome things that they're going to do, it uh, looks like people are pretty busy right now. Um, we're going to also start building uh, some more interesting and ambitious defenses. The next thing we're going to build is we're going to build a drawbridge. And we can do that by hitting the G key. 
Now, a drawbridge is an even more interesting structure than many of the other structures we have built, mostly because not only does it have width and height, so we're going to use the K key to make it wider, but it also has a direction. So what we want to make sure is that it has the right direction and it has the right height. So let's go ahead and make a 3x3 three three drawbridge that goes right there. And we want to make sure that it opens towards the south. So we're going to say D. Um, that's not what we want. We basically, if, we, if you look up in the upper right, you'll see raises in any given direction. We're going to have a one that raise upwards, right? So that means that it's basically going to pivot up on its back and it's going to form a solid flush wall with the channel underneath it. With this, we're actually going to be able to close off our base. And even if a bunch of armies come trying to steal our stuff, they're not going to be able to get in because we can just close it. Let's go ahead and uh, place that. Um, and we're just going to use, why don't, do we want to use obsidian? It is pretty cool to use obsidian. Let's use granite. That's just going to be ridiculous looking. Uh, you know, no, let's just use wood for now. We can always build it. Let's make it out of a solid chestnut. That should be cool looking. Um, so as you can see, we've already got a carpenter working there. We'd also like to build a lever. Now, what we're going to do with a lever, basically, is we're going to actually have to... So by the way, we hit capital T for traps and levers. Uh, you can see all kinds of really fun stuff here. But we're going to put a lever right down here by the front door. And that lever is going to be the thing that controls uh, the gate. And we're going to use an obsidian mechanism there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, resume that. So we need a carpenter to come through and build the bridge. Uh, wow, all in. Olin has created a masterpiece willow bin, if you look at the bottom notification. So our carpenter has gotten so good at what our carpenter is doing that uh, Olin has started producing masterwork objects that sell for more. Now, masterwork bins can actually hold a little bit more, too, which is really, really cool. So, you know, we got this, these neat things. Now, if we go down, um, you see, we definitely want to designate a little bit more here. Let's designate mine. It looks like we skipped a spot because of the way things were set up. And we want to remove upstairs and ramps, everything except for this one edge. So now I'm basically, what I'm doing, whoop, 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 sorry. <laughs> little bit of shift error. Sometimes this keyboard that I'm using doesn't quite have what we need. <laughs> it, it messes up a little bit. But basically we're going to be building, we have to designate that channel there. So designate, it looks like the channel didn't quite take because of the bridge. That can happen sometimes. Let's go ahead and designate the channel there. Uh, we may have to wait until we can raise the bridge. That's not, that's not optimal, but it's fine. We got a lever built over there now. Um, and once the bridge is built, uh, we'll have no problems raising it. Uh, we're waiting for an architect. Do we have an architect? Let's go ahead and go back over to this and let's check for architecture. You can see it's right over here. We don't have anyone doing architecture. So let's make one of our mechanics. Let's see who is a mechanic. Uh, third one down. Foth is a mechanic uh, who's also into our wine. As you can see all sorts of interesting thing about Foth. Let's go ahead and make this mechanic also an architect. Seems, seems easy to me. So there we go. We've committed things. And let's go back. All right, so our architect has done his work, and now Allen is going through and building stuff. So we've almost got a bridge. We've almost got a bridge. And we've got a bridge. All right. Now let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. Uh, if we go over here and we use Q, um, we can go to this lever, and we can add a new task for it. Um, there's all sorts of things that levers can do. They can do many things at once. And most things, there's tons and tons of automation. Um, in this whole setup. In fact, it's kind of amazing. There's a power system and everything. I don't think this tutorial is going to have time to cover that. That's something more for a, you know, a playthrough, but we might have some time to do a little bit of it. Let's go ahead and start by linking this to our bridge, right? So let's go ahead and link it to this, and it'll take a mechanic a moment. Let's use some high-quality obsidian mechanisms and some regular granite mechanisms. And there we go. It doesn't really matter, but high-quality mechanisms can improve the speed at which things go. So let's give a moment for uh, someone to come through there. Um, now, as you can see, we've actually got a whole area set up. It's really, really cool. Um, and we're about, as soon as we get a mechanic over there, we're actually going to have the abil ability. Uh, we've got a mechanism there, so it looks like now that's done. Uh, let's go ahead and have someone, there we go, it's all done. I can see dwarves carrying stuff to the lever. Let's go ahead and have someone uh, pull the lever. Add new task, pull the lever, and let's resume.
and there we go, it's pulled. And now you'll notice, check that out, something amazing just happened. <laughs> As you can see, that uh, area completely closed up, which is just perfect. Now we're gonna do a similar thing. We're gonna have basically a secret door hiding over in the corner over here that we can also use for stuff. So we're going to go ahead and designate, we need to at least designate uh, a way out so that the dwarves aren't totally stuck. So let's go ahead and designate a little hole right there. Um, because this main hall is a setup, and then, you know, eventually we could just wall it up if we wanted to, but for now we'll just make, make it a, a little one block hole. Okay, so now let's designate the channel that we wanted to designate before, so we hit the H key for channel, and let's go ahead and build the rest of the hole here. There we go. Uh, we need to designate removes upward stairs and ramps before we can channel there, right? And let's go ahead and get a miner out there to do that work. 